Tesla Model S appears to fail another crash test that you can see right here and I'll show you the video, but was it a legit test? Tesla doesn't think so. I'll show you the video. You be the judge. Uh, I'm going to talk a little, but, 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 but forget about that. There's tons of other major news. Nissan just got caught in a dieselgate type of a scandal on its own. The uh, prices of Tesla in China are skyrocketing and there's like still five other news to talk about it. So we're going to, we're going to get going and cover them all coming up next. Thank you to those of you who are watching me on Patreon Live right now. That's a great way to support the show. Thank you so much. And of course, if you're watching me on YouTube, welcome. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the world of electric cars. And it's a lot. All right. So let's start with this one. Now, this is a, a crash test that Luxembourg testing and standardization, standard, standardization, I love those names, authority. Uh, uh, <laughs> conducted last week and they actually did this with 2015 Model S and 2018 Volvo S90. Um, odd combination, they also invited media to this event which is not how you know crash tests are done and this was reported by uh, Luxembourg uh, Ward which kind of sounds like a medical condition and you want it to be removed, but nevertheless, it's apparently a publication. Um, so, okay, so let's look at the test. And again, you know, it's being filmed by like a shaky camera, uh, a phone camera. So I don't know, this just, just, well, watch. All right, so, you know, st it, it does stop, but it stops just a bit too late. And there was another test done, I think, a month or two ago that kind of showed the same thing. Now, it's funny that this is come, you know, happening this weekend because I had my Tesla, uh, what is it, on Saturday uh, break uh, for me uh, um, so I don't smash into a car in front of me. And this is the first time I experienced it. So this only does work for me, though sometimes when I feel like I'm just about to smash into the car, but I, I mean, I have it under control, the, the braking does, the automatic braking does not kick in. You know, there were some accidents uh, where a Tesla smashed into a stationary fire truck, which is much bigger than this little obstacle over here. So now Tesla says that, listen, uh, they couldn't get a hold of this organization. Usually organizations kind of conduct this test with uh, with uh, with the manufacturer to just make sure all the specs are uh, okay and everything. Obviously, it's a three-year-old model. Not that it shouldn't fail. I mean, I have a 2015 myself, both of them. Um, but uh, yeah, so th this just sounds a bit shady. However, there is a video with them and, and it's not the first one. So I, hopefully, this is something that Tesla can uh, take a look at. Uh, and again, not just kind of say, well, it's not a legit test. Just do your own testing. I've seen this before. So let's get going, Elon, please uh, fix it. If it's a problem, uh, I, I obviously want it to work. All right, let's move on to some other crazy news. And before that, of course, I want to make sure that you guys know that this channel and this video is sponsored by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla that always work. Uh, there's a discount code in the description of this video so you can save yourselves a few bucks. All right, the tariff war with China is finally catching up to Tesla. I would say is expected, but uh, now let's remember that Tesla looks like they're just about to announce uh, a new factory in a trade-free zone in China where they will need to partner up with a Chinese-based uh, uh, entity in order to produce cars and avoid tariffs. Now. Only a couple of months ago and before that, uh, Tesla had a 25% tariff put on its cars that it all manu manufactures in the United States and then imports into China. Um, the, the, you know, it was tough to compete with the local manufacturers, of course, and those who have created joint ventures like Mercedes and BMW and so forth. But Tesla had doubled their sales last year and uh, I believe they cleared $2 billion. About a month ago in May, uh, because it looked like China was easing up with tariffs, the tariff went from 25 uh, to 15% and Tesla lowered its prices by about five or six thousand dollars. But now it went up from 15, not back up to 25, but all the way to 40, which is insane. So the sum of the prices had to go up by anywhere from 20,000 American dollars all the way to f almost 40,000 America. This is insane. You basically just overnight, you have to pay an extra $40,000 for some of the Teslas uh, in China. Obviously, it probably will hit Tesla and its earnings. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't last very long, but it looks like this tariff 4 is going to get worse before it gets better. So, 
Ugh, this is gonna get tough uh, for Tesla until they get that factory going and hopefully that will fix some issues. All right, no more time for this because there's more news and this is another insane story, Nissan. The maker of Nissan Leaf, one of the first electric cars of at least the century that was out there for a long time, they seem to have a pretty good commitment to uh, a a electrifying their fleet. They come, you know, their their new version with the new electric, uh, uh, with the new battery in in their uh, Leaf are coming up this fall. Uh, the refresh happened this year. Uh, they're doing a lot of good stuff, but guess what? They just got caught with their own Dieselgate, literally Dieselgate scandal. Apparently, uh, they've been cheating uh, on their you know emission tests themselves since 2013 now it looks like it might be just contained to japan or at least japan factories but that's where a lot of cars uh, uh nissans are made now the reason they discovered it they were already in the middle of their internal investigation of 1.2 million cars that had to be recalled because the safety inspections on those cars were conducted by employees unauthorized to do those safety tests now, I didn't know that because it was actually, again, just uh, internal news for Japan. But as a result of that, they discovered that also they were cheating on emission tests. Now, this is kind of sad, right? This is different than Volkswagen. Volkswagen was like a diesel king and, you know, uh, and, and really, it, it wasn't that big of, I, I wasn't feeling sad for them as much. But for this company, Nissan, that's I've always praised and a lot of people praised as, as a company that does uh, want to move forward with electric uh, with electric cars. This is such a setback. That's pretty sad. We'll see what develops. By the way, I did not see this news in any of the you know electric car publications so far. Um, but the other media is reporting on it. So I hope this story gets picked up and I and I and I hope they figure this out big time. All right, let's move on. Model three sales have been obviously good because there's still 420,000 reservations out there. But now there are reports, and I think it's electric. Uh, you know, the in-house newsletter essentially for Tesla somehow got an inside scoop and it looks like uh, once again, uh, <laughs> it looks like the uh, the um, uh, Model 3 uh, people who sell, uh, the, the, the salespeople who sell uh, the Model 3 for Tesla will be getting incentives when they sell the performance version. Um, so that means that they're actually starting to push. And, you know, before that, uh, as everybody, you know, knows, Elon was trying to not sell this car. I think they were called it anti-selling campaign that they were trying to sell Model S cars to, to, to those who had Model 3 reservations. Uh, but now with a pretty healthy margin on these performance cars, they're going to be pushing uh, that a uh, uh, big time right now, or at least getting the, uh, getting, making sure that the, the salespeople get incentives. Uh, uh, to push this and you know, and I understand that that's not a bad idea. Let's move on to June sales that I cover for the US on Friday, but the international sales as always are topped by Biati, which stands for build your dreams. I took this picture myself when I was at uh, in China and Shanghai for CES Asia last month. Um, this is one of their plug-in hybrid uh, cars, pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you guys are even aware, but this car, this manufacturer sells more electric uh, 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 powertrain cars in the world than any other manufacturer. Um, I believe it's a 16,000 units they sold last month, and their spokesperson is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, this is a real picture from a real tweets, I believe since uh, last year. He's a spokesperson, a brand ambassador. And uh, yeah, they have some commercials with it. I'm not sure if having an actor who's famous for basically literally riding a ship that went down <laughs> good to to uh, you know uh, for your brand but hey listen i'm sure this is a great publicity and it's and I, and and you know to be serious uh, dicaprio had been a, a big uh, um, uh, sort of ambassador for uh, all electric car movements so kudos to him i'm just making a a bit of a light of the situation but it is good for him and good for biati uh, for pushing forward and he they're now promoting a new a version of tang which is T A ng which is there one of their plug-in hybrids is going to have almost uh, 60 miles which is a little bit more than the volt in their plug-in version uh and and it looks like the sales are only going to go up because people love that car over there all right let's move on to another story uk had just came up with a 46 bullet plan to go all electric by 2040 now mm, 
2040 is quite a ways away. I would have preferred 2030, especially for a nation that's been pushing for electrification of their cars pretty hard. But uh, it's, there are a lot of interesting goods. I mean, I don't want to go over just because there are too many news. Maybe I'll cover it separately in a separate video. I mean, I'm assuming this will also be a maybe a blueprint for other countries to adopt, but they're doing a lot of, they're going to do a lot of good stuff to make sure that electric cars are, are moving forward in their country and uh, the gas and diesel car sales are completely abolished. All right, well, I was going to go with a comment of the day. Okay, I'll, I'll do it real quick, comment of the day. It's actually, I would even say it's comment of the year. I love this one. This one kind of solves my dilemma of, um, you know, my struggles about Elon Musk, right? A genius, great engineer, just a pioneer in electric cars and space and all of that stuff. And then he acts like very Trumpy on, on Twitter. And I just couldn't put my mind to it. But, but here's a great, here's a great, uh, a comment. I don't know what's up with this username, but um, he or she says, Elon is guided by the truth of physics and the irrational tug of emotion. Very true. Actually, that might settle my mind a little bit. Very true. He is very passionate about what he does. And, you know, sometimes when you're really passionate about something and, and the emotions come out, you become irrational. And maybe that's what his Twitter account is all about. That, that makes sense. All right. And also, quit kudos to... A new Patreon, Sean, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. Uh, and I have a video about just where I'm taking this channel, uh, where I'm going to be doing more of Patreon and or, or, or trying to get more sponsorships and stuff like that. This is where you guys can uh, actually comment and, and give me some feedback. I posted that video yesterday on Sunday. So thank you. I see a already a lot of comments. So um, yeah, well, listen, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, if you want to support the show like Sean, go ahead and sign up with Patreon. That's a way to watch the show show live and as people are watching right now of course if you haven't subscribed to this channel come on guys subscribe button is right there you will be up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars and there's a lot as you can see today is a great example of that all right other than that uh, this is pretty much it for me i will see you tomorrow and remember to stay charged <laughs>